Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Annie Miraj Kedbai and you're watching Vertex, the solution of every need. How is everyone and how is everyone doing today? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to speak about a topic uh, which is quite emotional for me because I was doing a case study about a narcissistic mother and the child, the relationship they share with each other. So I spoke about narcissistic personality disorder earlier as well. Now, in short and brief, I'm going to speak about this. Narcissistic personality disorder is a personality disorder in which the individual have a feeling of self-importance, grandiosity, they lack empathy, they lack, that they lack respect for the people's boundary, uh, they have self-worth and self-esteem issues, they are deeply insecure individuals who constantly create chaos in other people's life by emotionally manipulating them, psychologically manipulating them and creating emotional abuses, psychological abuses and deep scars on people's life. And at, at times the victims can be their own children because this disorder can happen to anybody around you. It can be uh, to a boss, it can be to a co-worker, it can be to a teacher, it can be to a student, it can be to a mother, it can be to a father, it can be to a children, to a child, sorry, it can be to children, so um, it can be to anyone. So here, what today I'm going to discuss about a narcissistic mother and a child. So narcissistic mother, mother is somebody whom we always look up in our tough situations always look for look for emotional times we admire we adore this individual a lot in our lives but at times there are individuals who have narcissistic parents who have narcissistic mothers in their life and the emotional and psychological abuse they create on their children which impacts their psychology a lot they leave deep scars and wounds emotional wounds and emotional scars on the children, psychological violence that they create on the child's mind. So narcissistic parent or a narcissistic mother, she is somebody who always want the child to satisfy her emotional needs rather to be available for the child's emotional or psychological upbringing. She is a selfish individual who always tries to demean uh, the achievements of her children or the achievement of the child. She shames the child publicly. She compares her children with one another or with the peers or with the colleague or with, with, with their friends. So they feel insecure and they may develop self-worth issues which may further develop some other psychological personality disorders in the children. She doesn't respect the boundaries of the children uh, and constantly, uh, you know, she has a behavior of gaslighting. So th the gaslighting behavior is there in the narcissistic mother. Now, now the, uh, narcissistic abuse can be physical, it can be emotional and it can be sexual also. Sometimes parents also sexually uh, exploit the children, you know, so um, it can be mother as well. So I was doing a case study which was uh, very emotional and about a child and about the narcissistic parent, about the mother, uh, you know, uh, I, I mean, I, I, uh, I was in tears when I read about the child. So, and it creates such impact on the psychology of the child that make create a major depression issue, depressive issues depression in them in the children may create suicidal attacks or the idea to uh, commit one so I, I from so through this medium I would like to tell to all those people out there who might be victims of narcissistic abuse that do not ever feel that you are alone you are not alone there are always people to help you around you can seek counseling sessions, you can go to a licensed clinical psychologist or a psychiatrist for a help, okay? Be assertive, do not ever feel that you are alone, nobody is there to look after you. It may be a parent, it might be a parent, but you are right, so do not underrate yourself, do not be in self-doubts, do not, uh, you know, 
uh, doubt uh, about your own uh, self worth which the narcissistic uh, parent tries to create in the child so uh, you know human behavior is a very complex process ladies and gentlemen and uh, sometimes uh, such personality disorder may affect others greatly we must be aware about such disorders if you see such kind of abuses around you take a stand other family members should take a stand and uh, if it is required seek counseling sessions uh, research about narcissistic personality disorder it is very common it is more in men than women but women do have narcissistic personalities as well uh, the child the family member of the narcissistic person always feels moving on eggshells they are master manipulators they manipulate everything and anything like anything okay they create emotional scars uh, on the psychology of others they lack empathy they feel that they are more important they must be admired and adored by everybody uh, they do not care about other people's feelings. They do not care about other people's emotions. So these are few traits in brief. I've told you about narcissistic personality disorder. If you feel you are the victim of such people, do not ever feel you are lonely. Do not take any such uh, steps in your life. I know how it feels. I can understand that how it feels. I have a lot of empathy and sympathy with you so if you would like you can get in touch with me any student a child anybody I can try at my best to help you out or you can try to connect with the clinical psychologist of your area a psychiatrist build a team of people around you who are truly good for you who inspires you who motivates you could be a friend or if you feel completely lonely because narcissistic uh, mothers they uh, cut off the child from outer world they don't let the child uh, interact with others they don't let the child socialize and at times if she has two or three children so one child will be the golden child one child will be the child who is uh, the overachiever and others are the scapegoats of her of the nature of this personality disorder so she constantly the problem is not with the children the problem is in the mother the problem is in such kind of parents who compares the children who put down their children who shames their children so please understand this uh, be assertive take a stand for yourself uh, involve yourself into some good activities if you are grown-ups uh, try to you know create boundaries because you cannot change and rectify this behavior and you cannot let this abuse happen on your health on your mental health on your emotional health so it is very important that we must talk about uh, such mental health issues of people around us and there is no shame in seeking a counseling from an experienced and educated and licensed individual in this field thank you so much for watching and have a great day